Right guys, welcome back to the series. Well, Polyphony takes the number one spot this week for addressing no real issues, but introducing a rather large new one. Um, but we have got our nearest competitors this week, uh, starting off here with this chap who's quite laggy. Tyler is there on the outside. He's going to be made to be even more on the outside, but it doesn't really matter because that is not the star of the show. This chap is going to be losing a bit of control into the wall there. And then we're gonna back way up into another wall and then lose a bit of control as we try and punch the throttle. And we're gonna try and rescue it and punch the throttle again, lose a bit more control, crash into the wall. This time we're going to forget that reverse exists for a while before eventually chucking in reverse. And then we're going to end up in the pits. I don't know if that was intentional, but either way he's ended up there in a race where you don't need to pit. And then next up at seven, we are sticking with the same race and we've got Dwight the gamer, this chap, maybe irritated by something in a previous race because he's really going to have a crack at Saucy Rossi there and end up not really doing much harm to Saucy Rossi but a whole lot of harm to himself. Started the race in fourth and at the first corner you know, he's going to make sure he's lost because he's going to drive backwards so we're talking about a chap with potentially some uh, rage issues and we're, going to, we're going to crash into the wall there and then eventually just decide to carry on driving but it's too late because we're in last and he did end up quitting eventually. And then next up at 6, we are going to be moving to the Red Bull Ring. A fairly old clip, I think. But, I mean, there's penalties flashing up all over the place here. As we go into the second braking zone, there's cars going off and crashing into each other and another one coming through. But that is a massive amount of luck for this man with the interesting name. And then next up at number 5, we have got... Uh, metaphoric crash not seen on screen we've got this guy leading the race after nine laps it's going so well or well, it was going so well because we're going to crash into the wall and have a bit of an austin powers moment there down the mountain and we are going to be overtaken for the lead so we've lost the lead with one and a half laps to go uh, we're pretty angry with this guy for no reason so we're going to be wrestling they didn't want to give him any room on the inside Eventually we are going to lose this battle, but the war is not over because as we come into the braking zone here We're just gonna go for a massive lunge and just shove him off, off track really uh, He didn't lose out too much. Uh, we did lose two positions So he did lose quite a bit actually, but we're going to get a five second penalty. So let's jump to serving said penalty and we're going to be well in the lead at the moment, but not for long And then we have a familiar face coming over the hill So as we go into the final braking zone, we're going to go for a mad lunge, um, end up missing. And then next up at number 4, we are moving back to the forest. And uh, we got this guy who's, I mean, let's be fair, he's going to get an, a pretty uh, unjustified penalty there. I mean, the guy didn't suffer at all, but he's going to be pretty triggered by that. I'm a victim of oppression. And as we head down towards the next braking zone, it's obviously the guy in front's fault that he got that penalty, right? So we're going to ram him, try our very best. I mean, it wasn't going too bad this race. I mean, it didn't start too bad, it's only up one. But it's going to be taking a turn for the worst very, very quickly because we just can't keep our emotions in check. And we're going to try and just slam into someone else for no reason. And this time we are off the track and going to be lost. Nobody's making fun of me now. Well, we are all making fun of him. And then next up at three, we've got Mario Sonic. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, an A plus driver, so this makes this worse. So we're gonna go into this braking zone. Bit of contact between these two cars. Both of them are gonna end up picking up a one second penalty and both of them have massive amounts of rage going on. So we're going to jump ahead to uh, lap four when the other car now has a penalty. And you know, we could have just let that, or stayed behind him and let him serve that half, penalty, half second penalty and then ended up getting past him anyway. But no, we're going to instead decide to pick up a five second penalty. Take a deep breath, it'll be all right, take a deep breath. I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. And then let's serve that penalty. You know, you can't escape the law in this case. And uh, we're gonna be down from what was a podium position 
to now being stone dead last because of the massive penalties he just couldn't avoid getting. And then just missing out the top spot, we are moving back to Bathurst. And uh, a bit of a punt there from the car behind him, who is now in front of him. But he's going to pick up a three second penalty, so it's all good. He's going to serve his time for that. Um, and now we're going to try and block the other Beetle for no apparent reason, because he's had nothing to do with him so far in this race. And we're going to brake check for no reason. Whereas if he had just stayed behind this guy, he would have gotten past him scot free and been in third, a very comfortable third. But as we go into this braking zone here, now we're going to decide to declare war on the other Butyl. Again, for no reason. I'm going to brake check and try and send him off track. No, we are going to succeed in doing so. And then we're going to punt him off track there. Uh, so uh, we've got third, but at what cost? Because now we have got a five second penalty and a lot of damage on our car. And then we're going to be blocking this guy again and ensuring that we pick up even more of a penalty we're going to be up to seven seconds by the end of this um, and then we are going to try and block him and it's definitely rammer vision is setting in here he's going to get past anyway what is going full force someone is treating it as if they're about to die and they're putting everything behind it so yeah here is trademarked rammer vision and we're going to have a crack didn't actually get a penalty for that one and then have another crack at him and just cannot let go of that accidental punt which ended up with that guy getting a penalty anyway. So now we have instead got 12 and a half seconds of penalties um, and the chap he punted is now behind him but we are going to try and block and end up getting ghosted in the process. So he's really not accomplished anything besides seeing himself down into last because here comes last. So it didn't really accomplish anything there. And then taking the top spot, you know, most of the clips here are people being dirty drivers. This guy was just really stupid. So coming to the end of the race, Little Big Malik is way behind everyone. Or so he thought, he's gonna finish second to last. So let's have a side by side here and see what happened. And this guy got a bit overconfident. He was very happy with his second to last place. So he's going to wait across the line and try and make Little Big Malik think he's gonna get second to last and then end up being late so he does get second to last. So yeah guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have got any luck, new on show, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you very much to my patrons whose names you're seeing on screen right now. If you'd like to join them and get access to videos early, the link is in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next video.